So I got another one of those emails this week about mission drift. Now, this is something that we, we get quite a bit of. It's something that we take seriously. We, we discuss it internally quite a bit as well, because this is a show about atheism, right? It's advertised as such. That's what we want it to be. We want to talk about the world from a secular perspective and highlight all the shit that should be of special concern to our fellow atheists. Now, over the years, of course, that's drifted further and further into things like LGBTQ issues, issues of income inequality, feminism, liberal politics, police brutality, a bunch of stuff that, while certainly related to atheism, wasn't necessarily part of our original idea of our remit. Now, now don't get me wrong. Issues of social justice have always been part of the fabric of this show. My entire reason for being part of the atheist movement stems from concerns over religion's sexist bullshit. But the primary focus of the show has always been atheism and the abuses of religion. Of course, over the decade plus that we've been doing the show, our focus is blurred because the lines between religion and government have blurred. Evangelical Christianity has been a dangerous bedfellow of the GOP since my childhood, at least, but it's gotten worse with every Republican president since Reagan. And since the Trump election, talking about what American evangelicals are doing and what the Republican Party is doing are one and the same. They're marching to the same drum, following the same leaders, espousing the same goals. And as this diffusion takes place, we're in the middle of it trying to draw bright lines between atheist show and general show about liberal politics. And sometimes that's really hard to do. Now, for some people who email us about this, the answer is the show you want to listen to and the one we want to make are two different shows. Right. Some people won't be satisfied if we ever stray outside of a clinical discussion of how many gods there aren't. Others are just woke phobes who are terrified of anything that'll make them confront their own privilege. And we ignore their feedback as well we should. But I think there are also non-believers who are just dipping a toe into the waters of movement atheism and are surprised by how sacrosanct issues of social justice really are here. I mean, there are obviously plenty of anti-woke shit-stirring content creators that wear the atheist label, but when you start looking at atheist nonprofits, atheist conferences, local atheist groups, the commitment to combating inequality is foundational. But here's the thing that may not be obvious to everyone at a glance. Social justice is a prerequisite to a rational world. You can't have the latter without a commitment to the former because, look, we don't get to decide what's true and what's not true. The world decides that shit and imposes it on us, but we get to decide what we believe or at the very least, we get to decide what we behave as though we believe. And if you want to sell people on accepting reality, you have to start by making it worth the price. Like just as a personal example, when I was super poor, I, it was really hard to get excited about scientific advancements. Oh, look, here's a new breakthrough in medical sciences that won't be available to me if I ever get sick. Oh, look, here's an amazing advance in consumer technology that I'll never be able to afford. I mean, as long as it's just billionaires that can afford commercial space travel, how the fuck can we expect the rest of the world to get excited about it? Meanwhile, there's bullshit over here telling you that you can actually visit other planets spiritually for the low, low price of learning to sit still really good. Here's bullshit telling me I don't need those prohibitively expensive new medications since I can cure whatever ails me with alkaline water and positive thinking. And this obviously isn't limited to income inequality. Every type of inequality serves to further alienate a person from the reality that we're trying to get people to embrace. If there's insufficient rewards available in this world, people will seek them in an afterlife. That's the main reason why people get more devout as they get more oppressed. If I can't see a path to a good life in the world I live in, I have every reason to accept the concept of some better world to come. I mean, look, as rationalists, we're basically putting reality on eBay. The least we can do is polish it up a bit before we do. 